Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. It's July 22nd, and today we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Gonzalo, um, which is in the Atlantic right there. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. We're also going to, at the end of the video, we're going to have a little short... We're going to talk about the severe weather for a little short bit. Um, but, uh, yes, please subscribe. And if you guys uh, were wondering the reason I'm not, I'm not going to be posting a lot for the next probably couple days, I'm in Florida, so that's why. Um, but... Yeah, we'll get back to normal uploads soon. Um, well, let's get started. So this is this uh, this is the infrared of Tropical Storm Gonzalo. First, let's just talk about what where Tropical Storm Gonzalo is. Right now, it has maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 1,000 millibars from the National Hurricane Center's latest advisory. Um, I click on it. This is the National Hurricane Center's cone. It's forecasted to go to the north of. South America. It's forecasted to go to the south of Dominican Republic, but this could change. Um, as you guys see, it's going to start to have a little bit of a more northerly tilt to it. Um, so we can see a problem. It could this could be a threat to Cuba and Jamaica as we go forward in time. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this. I'll probably have another video out for this two days out. Uh, or two days, probably on Friday, I'll have a video out of what this is going to do. Um, but you can see it's forecast to become a tropical storm by tomorrow morning. Um, and it's er, hurricane. Sorry, it already is a tropical storm. It's forecasted to stay that way all the way through Friday, and then it's forecasted to get downgraded to a tropical storm as it goes closer to Cuba and Jamaica. So if that if that if it's not a hurricane, once it gets closer to Jamaica, then that will be a good thing. We'll have to see um, what, what's going to happen with this. Um, we're not going to be really looking at any of the models today. I don't really have time. Um, now, Tropical Storm Gonzalo, this is the wind, uh, the Tropical Storm Force wind speed probabilities. Uh, we see 90% right there. It's a smaller storm. Uh, we can see really not know a little bit of northern South America right there. Venezuela has a 5 to 10% chance of getting it, getting Tropical Storm Force winds. Um, and that, that little wind field goes to the south of Dominican Republic. Now, this is, this is only within the next five days, so... This is the, some areas by Friday could likely be this. Some of these areas in the circle I just could likely be, could 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 experience tropical storm force winds as we get closer to this if the track actually plays out how it's supposed to. Um, and now we go to the wind history. Yeah, well, like I said, it's a really small storm. Um, that's pretty much it. This is what it looks like on infrared. You can see. Okay, there we go. All right. It seems like our central low pressures, or, or our central low, which is at 1,000 millibars right now, is right there, probably. Um, we even have a slight little eye right there. It's not a full eye like a hurricane yet. This is a smaller storm, but we do have a slight little eye. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and we can play this here, and we can see how it's kind of getting its act together. We have some taller or colder cloud tops in the past few frames right there. Um, the tropical storm, that's that cone we just looked at. Let's look at the intensity guidance um, from the latest models. We can see all every model has it staying to the tropical storm likely through the next probably 108 hours. Um, now, some of the models have this thing being a Category 2 hurricane. Most of the models, or about half of the models have it being a Cat 1. No models have it being a Cat 3 yet, which is really good. It's a good sign. Um, before we move on, Let's talk about what's actually, we have another little disturbance by Florida, which is kind of worrying me. It's not by Florida anymore. It used to be right there, but it's in the middle of the now. 50% chance in the next five days of formation. In the next 48 hours, 40%. So we're going to have to see what, what's that, what that is going to do. It's moving this way. Um, so we'll have another update about that on Friday. Or maybe tomorrow if it does form in anything. Um, now let's move on to severe weather. Sorry we didn't go too in-depth today. I don't have time. Um... So this, this is our day one convective outlook from the SPC. We have a slight risk in areas of New York, southern Vermont, southwestern New Hampshire, western Massachusetts, western Connecticut, a little bit of Long Island, all of New Jersey, central and eastern PA, most of Maryland, all of Delaware, and northern Virginia, right there, we have a slight risk. Um, and then we have a large marginal risk going away from northern Arkansas down to northeastern Georgia. Um, maybe when, with the tropical disturbance I was talking about, we do have a marginal risk in areas of Florida, 
for a panhandle, southeastern Alabama and southwestern Georgia. Um, we have another marginal risk in southern Nebraska, northern uh, Kansas, and northeastern Colorado. Um, and we have a marginal risk in areas of California, northern Nevada, southwestern Idaho, and southeastern Oregon. Yes, yeah, so we have this a lot of we have a pretty wide area of severe weather today. Pretty big slight risk. Tornado threat today just a two percent, wind threat fifteen percent, and hail threat five percent. Um, so we have the slight risks. The slight risk is for wind.